Hi everyone, this is Selena Krauss and welcome to another card video. In this video I will show you how to make this elephant card that involves uh, some uh, um, reverse masking. As well I'll be playing with the uh, Hero Art liquid watercolors. As well I will show you how to stamp uh, using the Misty Creative Corners with the woodblock stamps. So let's get started. First here are the new liquid watercolors, so they're, they're coming in these half ounce bottles, they're glass bottles and there's a little dropper in it. It's very convenient when you want to put it in your palette. So they come in eight colors and you can mix and match, well you can mix, you can really match, to make your own shades of different colors and create new color. So there are the eight colors. And I'm using here, uh, this is actually ice cube tray, but it has list lips, so it's very convenient for me when I'm working with watercolors. If I don't want to rinse it out after that, I'll just uh, close it and there's no um, risk of spells. So let's get started. I'm using B um, watercolor paper and it's the 100 pound one. I got it from, I think Michael's or any of the other box stores, box craft stores um, may have it and I'm using the Hero Arts Intense Black Ink and the elephant, the first layer, the outline, actually did, this would be the last layer from the color layering elephant and then I'm stamping it as well on a sticky note and this is the sticky notes that are sticky all over so I have like a couple probably that are stuck to each other and I'm just uh, trimming it out making sure that I don't uh, go over the, that, the outer part because that's what we're going to use. We're not going to use the inside elephant, you can save it for another project when you want to do different kind of masking, but we're doing reverse masking so we'll, we'll stamp, we'll mask the outside and stamp inside the elephant. So I'm almost done here and I'm just going to trim kind of the head part off because I'm not going to stamp on the head. I'm just positioning that on my uh, paper and then I'll put some um, scrap random paper, uh, well not random paper but I'm using printer paper to make sure it doesn't go on the sides. So after this I decided to die cut my elephant so it would not have mattered. So I'm just trying to see which part of this flower. This is the new wood mount uh, uh, flower, flowering nasturtium. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it uh, correctly. So here I have the, in the upper uh, section you will see the creative corner. So I'm using that to position, um, to stamp my um, flower onto the imaging sheet. This is like template for quilting. I have three of those creative corners stacked together. So then I'm inking my stamp, positioning that in the corner and stamping exactly what part I want to go on top of the elephant. So here we have it. So next I'll just go and remove that mask and ta-da! There's a flower stamp in the elephant. The next step I'll be just coloring everything and I'll be using, I'll show you a little bit more of the liquid watercolors. So here I have uh, another piece of watercolor that I'll show you the colors and on the upper part where you can't see it, uh, you have, I have, not you don't have, but I do have a little jar of water where I'll be using it to um, clean my brush and to add some water to the color. So here is kind of when you're adding more water, this is the moss color. So this is the pine and when adding water you get uh, lighter shades of the same color. So here I mix one drop of moss and one drop of pine and I mix it up and I get a different shade which I really really like actually. And I'll use that color to color the stems and the little green parts that go on the elephant. That's not many, just on part of the leg. So this is the yellow, the daffodil. So I'm mixing daffodil and strawberry now here. And you will get some kind of brown, not strawberry, but I mix with mulled wine. So you get kind of orangish brownish. So this is the mulled wine on the last one. So I mix, um, now I mix strawberry and mulled wine to get orange. 
So you can mix any and every uh, combinations or you can even mix three colors. Here I mix mute wine and indigo or actually deep ocean to get like more purplish color. This is and then I added one drop of strawberry. So I get more warm purple here. So we have here uh, mulled wine and strawberry. So you get you get more pinkish uh, fuchsia color. So I'll be using that one to color in my uh, elephant, the flower and the elephant. So I'm starting from the bottom where I want my color to be darker. And then with adding water, I create lighter shades as going to the outside of the flower. So I'm repeating for every, and then I drop a little bit of uh, pure color, not diluted at the center, because the flowers are still wet, and uh, that color spreads out nicely, with not much effort. So I'm doing again, and going back and dropping some of the pure color. Now I drop uh, pure liquid, um, pure liquid, I dropped um, the mulled wine undiluted without the strawberry mixing it to the center to create that uh, darker shade in the center. And just going with the other flowers here. Again repeating the same process. And then the flower that was on the leg so I think that's pretty okay. So next I'm using the brown art print. I really like this color to color in the center of the flower. And then I'm going back with the mulled wine to add more to the center of the flower again. Next I'm using Daniel Smith uh, hematite to, it's kind of grayish color, to color in the elephant around the flowers because I didn't I was planning to have it white but I didn't really like it so I decided to color him grayish. So I'm just adding more darker where I want the uh, shades to be. I want it to be more shadowed. Shade, shadow, shade. Adding some shading. So here we're almost done. And then I'll color the teeth. I'm using here a resistant copper, I think it was. Yeah, it's Daniel's Meteor resistant copper. So next I'm going in with the dye, matching dye, because I had dropped some color on the side of the panel and I didn't like it. Next I'm using the color laying Topiari stamp set. That's a new stamp set as well from Hero Arts to stem the sentiment, but before I do that, I decided to add more kind of shading using um, chameleon pencils. So when um, my image is dry, this, uh, the colors apply very nicely. So I apply on the rest of the body, except that uh, elephant there, which wasn't really dry, so I'll, in a second I'll go over it with a heat tool and dry the flower so it will I'll be able to apply some more color with the pencil and apply color in the center. So here we go and now it's much easier to add that black to create kind of more dramatic effect. So I'm using a few colors there, black, pinks and purples. So next I'll stamp the thank you sentiment from the color layer li layering topiary onto some black um, layering black cardstock. So I stamp it twice with Versamark and I'll use the white embossing powder to um, emboss it. So that looks pretty good. So in the meantime here kinda went off the camera I trimmed down that strip. And here I'm using some fun foam to adhere on the back of my panel. And then I'm applying on my black uh, folded note card um, the panel with the fun foam. For the sentiment, I'm using 
3D mention and foam, foam tape and for the sentiment I used uh, the black one I think it's from Ranger and for the elephant because it's white I used the white dimensional so now I'm trying to finish off my card and add some sequins so I'm playing around with them so I decided to just go on the left side in the middle around the sentiment to add those only three of them so I put the rest back and I'm using the Ranger uh, collage medium adhesive medium to the matte one to adhere those. Here's the finished card. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog and see you soon in another video. Bye!